was a strong and friendly fellow with the name of Campanella. He was someone special. I could see right off the bat there was something. Welcome to the Mortgage Messenger for the week ended May 21st. Last week we talked about how the PPI and CPI was coming out and how that could affect interest rates negatively causing them to go up if they came out showing any signs of inflation. Well they did come out and they actually dropped to the point where they are at a 42 year low. So there's no inflation that anyone's worrying about at this time and in fact Mortgage rates last week dropped to the lowest levels this year. And now, the Week in Review. Although there is some information being released this upcoming week, none of it seems to be enough to move the markets. On Monday, we have existing home sales. On Wednesday, will be durable goods and new home sales and Thursday the gross domestic product or GDP. That, and we will also have three treasury auctions to deal with this week. So next week, unless there's some sort of surprise that comes out, interest rates probably won't be changing too much. On Wednesday this past week, I read an article on MSNBC.com that stated since inflation's in check, basically at a 42 year low, the Federal Reserve is most likely to keep rates down all the way through 2012. This is great news, obviously, for anybody who's looking to make a major purchase such as an automobile or a home. With rates below 6%, it also may be the right time to refinance your home and possibly even take some cash out, should you still have some equity in your home, to, to do some home improvements. The downside, which we'll discuss in future webcasts, is of course the tightening of credit. Even though home ownership may be more affordable, it's harder now to obtain that type of financing. And now it's time for viewer email. If you should have any questions you would like answered in a future podcast, send an email to Mortgage Messenger at gmail.com. Well, we did have some viewer mail last week. Jim, I heard there were some big changes on my credit cards recently. I even noticed my statement changed slightly. Do you know anything about that and how these changes will affect my ability to get a mortgage? Thanks. Well, that's a great question that my mother asks in her email. And ironically, it happens to tie very well in with our webcast on Wednesday which we'll be discussing the CARD Act. By looking at the clock on the wall, outside my window, I can see our time is up. So until Wednesday, thank you for viewing. You're still the MVP within my heart.